You're such a mess, Rose. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Which I think right now is just Rose. Um, let me swap that in. Oh, and Yvonne is here. I suck? Why do I suck? Other than the obvious. Um. Anyway, so... <laughs> I am not late. Don't listen to her. She's just jealous because I decided to... I took time to actually, you know, set up a little bit before coming in. I'm not even going to argue with you two. Just, just no. Anyway. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, the, uh, just want to check to make sure that y'all can hear me all right. On my side of things, everything looks to be normal and good, but I don't know about y'all. Um, <laughs> my internet is still being stupid. My internet is still being stupid. And so that means that we're doing this while tempting destiny and fate to see if whether or not the fucking internet will cut out on me. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully hopefully it'll be fine. Um, but, you know, whatever. Um, I will be hopefully getting a new... I will be hopefully having a new modem and router by the end of the week. But you never know. Anyway. So, uh, hi. Hi. Um, before we begin, make sure to take a second, hydrate a bit, um, stretch your back and shoulders and neck, relax your jaw and whatever you're currently clenching without necessarily realizing it. Um, I, God, <laughs> um, cur late, a bit later in the stream, I will be, well, actually I could do it now. Let me, let me post it now. Actually, I sound, I sound quiet. Let me make sure that I'm listening to a black preacher while waiting. Rip. Um, did me adjusting my mic... Hold on. How about... Did that affect things any? Because sometimes it gets a little bit finicky. Um, let's see. Let us see. Let us leaf. Uh, sound settings, sound control panel. Make sure my mac make sure my microphone volume is actually high, or where it should be. That's not the right button. No, there we go. Um, that maybe helps a little bit. Um, and then this one, properties, levels. Okay, yep, that one's maxed. Um, yeah, okay, let me, let me just, okay, so, yeah, everything on my side of things looks fine, well, relatively fine, hold on, let me just, testing, testing, did that change anything? It probably did not, um, but I figured I'd set and check it. All right. Um, let me bump. Well, we know you're not normal, Rose. Let me let me bump up OBS. It shows me in the yellow on OBS, but I I don't know. I don't know. Um, I bump myself up. So if I'm if I get peaky or too loud or anything like that, let me know. Well, I've bumped up my. I've, I've by now this. I've actually bumped up my volume. Um. Okay. Um. Oh right, I was going to do a thing before we got started. I have added, at the recommendation of Yvonne, to the Twitch chat. I have added Nightbot. So, and as such, I have started a poll. So if you get a chance. Um, I will be posting the link to this straw poll, 
um, on my social medias and stuff uh, later. So if you miss it now or are watching this on YouTube, you can check them out there. Um, I'm, I've been trying to, you know, get things... I've been trying to find a time where I could start at least a second day of, of streaming, if not more. But I have to be... I'm trying to be careful because I have other things that I'm doing with my life. And I don't want to, like... I don't want streaming to necessarily become everything I do. Because I've got so much other stuff that I also like to do and try to do. Um, so... The main thing I can't necessarily... Uh, can't necessarily decide on is what I would play if I did a second game. I have so many different ideas and things that I would like to do or would not mind doing that it's really hard for me to actually fucking decide what to do. Because, um, like, any second from day to day or whatever, I would just randomly... Um, well, this is my... Uh, how's Nightbot treating me? It's the second stream of using it. And, I mean, you know. Uh... Among Us, I actually have Among Us on mobile, because it is free on mobile. Um, it's $5 on Steam, but I'm a stingy, poor bastard, so, you know, I'm, I, I don't mind, I've played Among Us, it's great, I love it, but um, I'm not going to spend money on it. Um, it's not worth spending money on. So, and the mobile version, the only, the only difference is that you don't get, uh, that, you know, it's free to play and so you don't get all the paid access and stuff but you do get you also have ads you can murder me only if you you know succeed anyway among us would be a thing that i would do outside of streaming um just because i personally i feel like it's not that engaging of a thing to watch if you're not participating and because of the fact that it's like a 10-person limit, I think, of a, you may be able to change that in settings. I don't know. But not anybody, not everybody who'd be able to watch the stream would be able to join in. And so it would be, you know, it would be weird. Um, random leaf. Um, so, I mean, I just, yeah, 4 to 10 people is what I remembered. But I didn't know if that was a thing that you could change in the actual uh game settings um but yeah it's i love playing it i've been playing it with my um yeah i know they do but i mean i just eh, you know i just feel weird about that one specifically um like on the one hand i don't want to feel like i'm yeah exactly yvonne they're so saturated now it's a fun game. I would be bored out of my mind watching it, and I don't want to put. Pe if I'm bored watching something, then I don't want people. I don't want to be the one. I don't want to try to put other people through something that I would be bored watching. Uh, damn right, I need to do something that sparks joy for me, considering there's not much in the world that currently does. Um, but, yeah, and, I mean, I love playing Among Us, but I don't think, like, if I were in a viewer position, I would not find it entertaining. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of my whole, that's just kind of my thought, is if I was a, if I were a viewer, if I were one of you guys watching me stream, what would, would I find it entertaining? And I would not find it a watching Among Us entertaining. Playing it, definitely, with the right people, definitely. And I've got, I do have um, some uh, friends that I've been playing it with in my, uh, they, I play some, I play other online games with them. And if I do an online game thing, like if I do COD or, uh, Sie or Rainbow Six Siege or something else like that, I would, my, they might be making an appearance, assuming they're available. Um... But, you know, uh, but, you know, it's, um, <laughs> hey, I mean, generally speaking, I don't mind, I, I agree, generally speaking, um, I only, I only play COD because I got it for free with my graphics card. Um, anyway, let me, let me stop chatting and get started. Um, all right, where, where's Mission? 
Uh, mission is there. Do I have any side missions? I do have a codex page there. Oh, I have a race here. Let me go do that. Um, yeah, generally I, I would... I mean, I have I have a very strict criteria for shooters. The only reason I play COD at all is because I got it for free with my graphics card. Um, the... Uh, um, I actually love Siege, though, because it's a lot more tactical um, and strategic um, than just running and gunning. Um, I also love Halo, but I love Halo because it's a sci-fi thing. And the music is so epic. Um, and usually, shooters have to have some kind of aspect to them that I find intriguing in order for me to be able to play them. With uh, the most recent COD, I... I mean, it's fun, but the main reason I play it is... I don't, I don't really play it unless it's um, with uh, the guys, essentially. Um, and... Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, I, I, and I mean, when they announced it, the story trailer for it looked pretty interesting, based off of the fact that for the first, why is my health so low? He suddenly realizes. Um, come, come, don't be shy. Based off of the fact that it seemed to I set itself it apart good. from other shooters, uh, other COD games specifically. Because it wasn't making uh, the people of the Middle East <laughs> um, I had a long rest. Why is my HP still at negative <laughs> five? Um, but yeah, the the COD story trailer made the people of the Middle East not the bad guys for once. And so the campaign mode intrigued me in, with COD, mo the most recent COD, because of that. And it, as far as I'm aware, it's the only COD game that has done that. Um, and the campaign mode was pretty fun. I loved the campaign mode. But the the main thing the boys and I play are the, the, the COD Warzone, which is a Battle Royale thing, which is pretty fun. Um, Battlefield is pretty great, too, um, but I love the historical setting of it a bit more. Exactly! They, it intrigued me purely because they weren't racist for once. And, so, I mean, you know, like, I was interested to see why, uh, like, I wanted to see if they actually were going to be racist, for one. Like, I wanted to see how racist they really were going to be. But I also wanted to, uh, but I also wanted to, like, I wanted to encourage them to continue to not fucking be racist. Be like, yes, you will have my patronage as long as you're not racist. A bar is so low, so low, in regards to that specific thing. Um, I mean, the concept, the storyline as a whole from the trailer looked interesting, and it was very interesting. Um... I know, it is incredibly sad, but, like, yeah, it was, they, I was also, I was terrified playing the campaign, not, like, scared terrified, but I was worried, I should say, I was worried playing the COD, uh, Modern Warfare storyline that it would, um, f essentially make a love story between this badass female, um, oh, shit, I forget, I forget if she was Pakistani, or... She was one from, from. She was one of. She was a resistance fighter leader from one of the from a Middle Eastern country. It may not even have been an actual real life country. I don't remember. Um, but she was so badass. She was like pure assassin from Assassin's Creed level badass, you know. Um, and I was worried that they were going to go the route of oh, forced love story between her and protagonist. But luckily, they didn't do that. Um, at least in the main thing. I have I don't know if they've done any... I, have, actually, I don't think they have done any DLC storyline. I think all the DLC for it has been multiplayer-focused, which is very COD, to be fair. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so I play that mainly because my friends play that. Um, and it's fun, mainly because it's them, but it's fun. Uh, I don't hate it, and I, um, 
I've also played PUBG, which was an interesting thing, um, because it, uh, it was the first Battle Royale, and, you know, so it set the bar, and it was pretty good. It didn't really have any specific quirks to it, like Warzone does, or any of the others, uh, but it was pretty good. Um, Battlefield 5, I think, is another one that I played. I played both 1 and 5. 1 was only a, a temporary thing, though. Um... Yeah, five. Uh, Battlefield Five was pretty great. Uh, I loved the World War Two setting and all that. Um, and uh, um, but yeah, the main the main one that I personally really enjoy is uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Um, partly because it is set in the same. It shares a continuity with. Um, uh, with, uh, Assassin's Creed. Kind of. Um, it's, uh, and, um, but also because unlike COD, which is essentially a, you run and gun, and, and, you know, um, it's more of a, don't fall off the roof. Yes, I hear you. Um, the, uh, it's, it's not a run and gun. I mean, you can play it that way, but you'll most most likely lose um, because it's a real realistic tactical shooter. Is essentially how they uh, market it, and it is it's pretty great because um, it it's tactical. It's oh hi guys, you know what? Okay, so I'm, I beat that race. Is there any other races? Um, well, there's a chest right there. I'll go ahead and grab that since I'm right here. Uh, up there, okay. But yeah, I, I really like Siege. I mean, it's got its problems, but every game has its problems, to be fair. Um... And so one of the uh, one of the poll options is indeed um, essentially just streaming whenever um, I play. Not whenever, but not all the time. But like sometimes when I play like Siege or something like that. All right. So there's that. I don't have any other missions that I'm seeing unless. Let me go ahead and get this viewpoint. I know I didn't want to last time, but. Um, that was mainly because I didn't want to get the viewpoint where the tower was, and where the prison that I found the parents at, not parents, the my fam, the Ezio's family at. I didn't want to get that until uh, I was doing that, because why climb the thing twice? Um, come on, Ezio. So how are you guys doing? En enough about my random game life uh how are you guys doing yvonne is apparently low on hp and had an ineffectual uh long rest um yvonne is it have you tried uh using uh greater restoration or remove curse in order to see if it um oh that's a feather old school bops no, but surely you know someone. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Rose. How has the, um... Getting things sorted stuff been going? Or has that been what's caused the... It's okay, Ezio. That was my bad. I wasn't paying attention. Um, 
work is what caused you to do the it caused you to have the anxiety attacks well oh that's right i can't get there from here i have to go guys leave me alone You're only losing me because you're too cowardly to actually climb the building. You reached out to a college today. Ezio? Uh, which col- well, don't say which college because internet. But like, um, how'd that go? Was there any specific reasoning for that, or was it just, um, like, are you finally, or was that for that thing that you were talking to me about earlier, or the other, last week? That's fair. Needing to get a master's degree is fair. Um, is that connected to what you were telling me about the other the other week? Or... Oops. I see. Alright, give me just a second. I... They're harvesting around here, and so allergies are playing up really, really badly for me. Okay, let's see here. How to get up there. I probably have to go around the building. You've only listened to old school bops today. I mean, that's fair. Oh, and and BTS, of course, BTS, K-pop stands and all that shit. Um, was one of the old school bops that you listened to Mbop? Because if not, then you you're doing it wrong. This stream is sponsored by Hanson. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> You don't you don't like Mbop? Like have you listened to the acoustic version of the song though? Where Okay. For real though, you should listen to the acoustic version of the song that they released re semi recently, like within the last 2 or 3 years or so, I think. Or at least I found it in the last 2 or 3 years. It's of them of them uh them singing it as adults, essentially. Ezio. Ezio, come on. There, there has to be a way for you to go up there, man. What? Why? Why aren't you, Ezio? There you go. God. There is an acoustic version, and it's amazing. And the song has so much substance, like for real. It actually, legitimately does. Um, it's just that because of how jaunty and poppy it was, nobody really understood the lyrics or caught the depth to it. Like, legitimately. It was one of those things where I was listening to it going, is this the actual fucking lyrics? Alright, let's continue on with the storyline. Oh! Before I forget again... That's fair. That's fair. As long as you give it a shot eventually. Uh, before I forget again, though, um, it, keeping in line with the whole, um, with my whole uh, 
I'm going through all of the, all of Assassin's Creed thing. Um, my, I had I had a realization that uh, there's probably a not a lot of people who have actually seen, or at least who are probably watching my stream, who have seen uh, the prequel the the short film the officially produced by Ubisoft short film prequel to Assassin's Creed Two. It's about 35 minutes long, and it's canon, and it explains events leading up to Assassin's Creed 2 and why Ezio's father and brothers were arrested, and why they're hunting down Ezio and all of that. Um, and it's uh, it gives context to a lot of the stuff that happens in the game that ultimately, I mean, doesn't matter to the plot of the game, but it's a nice little tasty addition to it. Um, anyway, so I have that. Um, it was originally released in short episodes on YouTube, on the official Ubisoft YouTube. Um, and they're still there, but, um, they then released it on DVD, and I have it. Um, and I was thinking that at some point, while I couldn't necessarily do it on Twitch without getting in trouble, because, you know, terms and conditions and stuff, I would, I would be able to... Um, do, like, a... Essentially, we would be doing a uh, movie night in my Discord at some point with that thing. It's only 35 minutes long, so it wouldn't be, like, a long movie night type of a thing. But, like... I mean, we could use Google Meets, because I've been doing that. Uh, I did that yesterday, actually, with, another, with a friend of mine, and it works really well with sharing uh, video and movies and TV shows and stuff. Um... So, if y'all if that's something y'all would be interested in, let me know, and uh, we can and I can we can start working about setting that up. I mean, whether or not y'all y'all are interested, I really want to do it. But like, for real, <laughs> if none of y'all are gonna show up, then there's no point in me doing it. Um, But, like, we can talk about availability and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Time to attend the acquittal. Now that I've delivered... I've already delivered the evidence of the innocence of... Giovanni, Ezio's father, now to attend the acquittal. Giovanni Auditore, you and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of... The man the in the black hood was, uh... Lying. need to get closer. Poor Ezio. Man in the black hood was there last night when we gave Uberto, the this guy, the evidence. I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You... And your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Come on! Hey, grab the boy. He's one of them. I'll kill you for what you've done. Guards, arrest him. Man, you need to get a stronger grip on your sword there, dude. Better run, boy. Fast. Get off the guard, Ezio. Let's go. I mean, I could easily kick all of their asses. 
just because I'm that confident in my abilities and knowing how to fight in this game. But it doesn't want me to, so I'm not going to. Oops, excuse me, guys. Sorry. Poor Ezio. We've officially completed sequence one. Yay! I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there, but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Some weird markings. Okay. Sir Ezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I couldn't stop them, Annetta. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister... They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. Okay, let me pause that real quick while her bio is up on the screen. Why is that happening? I said pause. Thank you, Ezio. Jeez. Um, that's weird. There we go. Sorry, my m mouse wheel just suddenly decided that it wanted to, uh, instead of actually working in-game, it decided it wanted to... Uh-oh. Uh, I think my game just crashed. Uh, uh, <laughs> let me confirm that it wasn't just my internet. It was not just my internet. Um, yep, not responding. Rip. Okay, well, <laughs> give me a second, guys. <sighs> yep, rip it. F's into the chat for the game. Uh, <laughs> Rip. Okay. Yeah, it, Assassin's Creed 2 really doesn't like being alt-tabbed, uh, especially not for streaming purposes. Um, I think I said that before, but, like, it's... It and uh, 1 both were early enough in uh, gaming that they were not necessarily made in mind with PC functionality, like multi-screening stuff. What's in the extras? Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, uh, stories, streams, load, okay. Okay, now, where were we? <laughs> Rip. Um, anyway, I, but yeah, so what, what had happened at some point was, was my mouse wheel had decided that it did not want to affect the game and started scrolling Twitch. <laughs> so I was unable to see anything on my on my second monitor. And that's thus, thus I, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so it wants me to go up here. How much random looting do I want to do? I'll probably go get that. Nah, 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 nah. I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, excuse me, guys. Pardon me. Don't mind me. I'm just going to pop my head right in here. Do you guys have any treasure mats? Oh, you do. I already have that one. Let me go ahead and pick up that one. It's only 150 florins. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, okay, out of stock of paintings. Excuse me, let me talk to you. No, oh, I can stock up on medicine, sweet. All right, now I don't have to run back to the doctor as often. 
Um, I wonder if I can go ahead and start getting anything from Armory and uh, the the blacksmith and and stuff. well, let me let me check the the tailor first. Uh, new feature within this game, you may have noticed, is notoriety. Um, as I do various actions, I will gain either illegal or or otherwise, I will gain notoriety. Once I fill up the notoriety bar, it makes the symbol in the top left red, and wanted posters go up of Ezio all over the place. Uh, they'll explain more about that in a second. Um, ooh, I do have some pouches and stuff that I can buy. Well, almost. Um... I can get that for free because I have that unlocked using Uplay, I think. Uh, yes, through Uplay. Do I have any dies that I want to get? Uh, nah, I'm just going to... I'll keep it the default. I didn't... I didn't want to exit the fucking thing. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, damn it! <laughs> I keep pushing escape out of habit rather than uh, shift. Rip. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, pouches. Thank you. All right. If I had one twelve, I think, uh, more, I would be able to get that. And then a lot more to be able to get that. Okay, now I am actually going to exit that. Let me check out the spot over here. I don't think I'll actually have anything over here yet. Ooh, armor. Ah, uh, I can. Okay, I'll go ahead and get that. Yeah. All right. Yay! Another one of the features that they've introduced in this game that were not in Assassin's Creed One is the ability is armoring and going hand in hand with the uh, new health bar, which is still the sink bar but is also health. Um. And the healing ability and stuff. Um, it um, what's the word I'm looking for? It in, in introduce and money and all of that. It allows you to purchase armor and upgrade your health and stuff like that. Oh, I don't want to hit him. They've also introduced a. Uh, they've made the pickpocketing uh, easier. All you have to do is hold down the fast walk button and just walk through a crowd of people. <laughs> Passive money gathering by passively picking the pockets of literally everybody you walk past. Regardless of who they are. <laughs> oh, you guys don't see me. I'm not here. Don't worry about me. I'm just going to bump into him. Nope. Oh, okay. Yep. I was a little too daring. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so, um, okay, let's see. It's three fourteen. I'm just going to progress the storyline. Well, I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to progress the storyline. And I'm going to hit any of the... Uh, which direction? I don't want to go that direction. I'm going to go this direction. Um, and I'll get any treasure chests that I come across on the way, if as long as they're not too complicated to get to and stuff like that. What I intend to do is with the treasure chest specifically is um, similar to what I did with the... Um, with Assassin's Creed 1 and the flags, is just gather the treasure chests uh, outside of stream. I just did not have time to do that at all uh, this week. This week has been a bit of a... This last week was a bit of a roller coaster. Over here, I'm assuming. Maybe? Or is it over here? Come on, Ezio. Hop down. You guys see nothing. Uh, 
Ah, fine. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, headbutt him. There you go. Okay, you know what? This is not going to be a winning fight. At least not a quickly win. Get Ezio. It's not going to be a quickly winning one fight, at least. Rip. Okay. Uh, this is going to go well. This is going well. Intentional. Yay. And once more intentional. Roll it out and sit down. I've been here forever. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, people, if anybody asks, I was here the whole time. I did not just fall out of the sky and then sit down. Okay. There's two more chests, but they're all are, they all are probably also guarded. Oh, no, you don't. You don't know shit. Oh, okay, fuck. Okay, maybe you know a little bit. Chill, Mario. Okay, viewpoint is over there, and then I and then that means my objective is right there. Okay, and pop out. Ooh, treasure chest right here. Uh, is there an easy way down? Well, I mean, technic depends on your definition of easy, I guess. Ha! Lol. Um, Ezio. There you go. There you go. Okay. Well. Oop, sorry, forgot to mute my phone. And okay. Excuse me, pardon me. La Rosa Colta. One of the one of those strange glyphs Sean mentioned is on this landmark. You should go find it. 1465. La Rosa Colta, the plucked rose, quickly became essential to Florentine life. The women there were known for being upper class. They were educated in poetry and the arts, as well as sexual intercourse. Hey. Uh, it was not rare to see members of the of uh, Senora at La Rosa Colta. And even, on occasion, a Medici. Yeah. People go where sex is. Go figure. Pardon me. Coming through. Sorry. Dude. 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 Wait. What? Why do you Why do you just casually have, like, a dead goat over your shoulders? Da -da 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 -da. Don't mind me. It was not me. Sorry, pardon me, coming through. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Don't mind me. And uh, <clears throat> definitely, sorry, sorry, ma'am. <clears throat> Up. 
Okay, so there is a... There we go. Uh, there is one of those glyphs. If I remember correctly, it's up here. Nope, I was wrong. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Right here. What is this strange marking? Five of these mythic scenes share a core similarity. Pick them out and you'll begin to see. Okay, so if I do that, okay. Nope. Okay. Cupid and Psyche. Diana and Callisto. The Fall. With a very pregnant looking Eve. Um, Birth of Venus. Hercules in the Garden of Hesp Hesperides. Atalanta, and I'm not even going to try that one. Uh, Judgment of Paris. Triumph of Bacchus. Idun and the Apples. Mercury, Hearse, and Aglaros. Uh, well... It's, um, I mean, because all of them have more or less that, but yeah, I, yeah, no. Game sound is not coming through? Oh, shit. Um, oh, I know why. The game crashed, and then I never, hold on, my bad, guys. At least there was subtitles this time. <laughs> if it was Assassin's Creed 1, there would not have been subtitles. Rip. And then swap it to that. I totally forgot about the sound. Hey, uh, hey, science, how you doing? All right. Uh, yeah, no, the, si the similarity is not boobs, um, though you know. Um, there are five of them that out of the ten that are here, half of them have similarities. I think I remember what it is. <laughs> yes, welcome to the uh it the it's classical art so it's not porn uh hour of the stream. 
I think I remember. It's been a while, but I think I remember. Um, let me let me double check. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Let's try this. One, two. Uh, two Three, four, five. Yep. The apples. Why do you smell a lie? How do you smell a lie? I re legitimately did not necessarily remember for sure. Hey, hey, you're not wrong, but in this particular instance, there's so many of these that I don't necessarily remember all of them, especially not the early ones. And there's a few of them that I may actually need to, like, Google help for. A few of those specific, like, code puzzle things. All right, so we unlocked the, this is under the segment called The Truth. And we unlocked this first one. Let's see. Okay. Well. Talking about naked things. Alright. Oh, what's under the user manual? HUD. Okay. Systems. Controls. Okay, so that... Oops. That's not what I wanted. Uh... That, okay, so under database is where the truth is. User manual documents. Okay, codex page. Oh, codex page. The codex page that came with the um, the uh, that Ezio found when he was getting his dad's gear. Um, I am obsessed with this this series. That is correct. However, that does not necessarily remember. I rem that does not necessarily mean that I remember every little tiny piece of every puzzle. And it suggests I just, and I am flattered that you think that I am that, uh, that I have that keen of a mind, but, <laughs> realistically, um, anyway, so there's this codex page, which needs to be deciphered by Leonardo in order to be read, okay, but it looks like it depicts the hidden blade, which Ezio got one, but it broke, um, and then, and it was broken, I mean. Uh, let's see, we've read the letters, I believe. Well, hold on. Let me let me double check. Al magnifico Lorenzo di Medici, mio protettore e amico. I have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we have looked at all of those. I think, I think, actually, let me confirm. Because we've got those four, and then the two from the guy who is double, who is um, two timing oh, a couple of women uh, locations. Eh, nothing interesting. Um, thieves, art merchants, banks, tailors, blacksmiths, doctors, and back to thieves. And then contact specifically Leonardo da Vinci, Maria, Claudia, Petruccio, Giovanni. <laughs> dead, dead. Cristina Vesc Vespucci. Federico dead, wanted for murder for treason, I guess, and then back to Leonardo. Uh, recent trees takes us back to that. Okay, uh, options, map, inventory. What's in my inventory? Oops, outfits. Lol, I could run around as Altier if I wanted to. I'm tempted. Nah, nah, I could, but I, nah. I have one feather. One feather. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, supplies, four out of five medicine. Weapons. I have fists. And armor. I have spalders. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are those spalders, not pauldrons. Pauldrons are something else. Uh, and then DNA takes me to here. Stop. Stop it. 
Okay, secondary memories. Come on. Okay, so sequence two, viewpoints. There are 73 total viewpoints in the game. 100 feathers. Something called beat up. I forget what that. Is. Oh, oh right, the missions where I the the beat up people missions, uh, races, courier missions where I deliver letters and stuff and treasures. Okay, so back to this. Um, I see a treasure chest and I can't just leave it alone. All right, let's go say hi to these um these women. Isn't there a decency law that applies to just such things? Apparently not. <laughs> 16 year old Ezio walks into a brothel. <laughs> I think we have the wrong place. <laughs> it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego, call me Paola. Thank you for Paola. offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd. No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I'm assuming the I audio is fixed now, by the way. Vengeance. But the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. And why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. You can make me a lecture? I'm going to teach you how to survive. Okay, good. Come. Learn the way of the courtesans. Awkward? <laughs> Those girls are definitely available for hire. Thank you, Rebecca, for that commentary. I bet you can use them as moving cover. In fact, try sending them to attempt to unwanted guards. Prostitution was one of the popular occupations for Renaissance women, uh, whose only other options in most cases were staying with their families or living in a convent. I mean... If those were my only two options, I probably would have gone with... Sorry. I have a... There. Got it. I had a bug. Um... Ties are cross dress. I mean... I mean... This is not Final Fantasy VII. Um... But yeah, if my only two options were... Um... Convent or staying with family... I would probably go with brothel as well. <laughs> There was a bug flying around my head. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, Italian society supported prostitution, and many brothels were regulated by the government. Um, at the end of the 15th century, cities started to pass laws against prostitution, forcing courtesans to wear specific outfits and separating them from respected society. Well, I mean... Sex work is real work, so... The streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. Actually, before, re before we do that, let me actually jump into the database again real quick because there was something I suddenly rem remembered that... Rebecca's comment on thieves. I bet those thieves can work with you to distract the guards, and if they and if you start a brawl, they'll probably fight with you. Just go talk to them; they'll tell you their price. Renaissance thieves were usually wanderers who could. Oops, that's ah, not the button I meant. To, ah, that was not the button I meant to push. Okay, come on. There we go. 
Renaissance thieves were usually wanderers who could vanish at the first sign of trouble, making it hard to track for guard of uh, hearts for guards that hard. Oh my goodness, English. Hard for guards to track them. Back market business in Renaissance. Italy was booming, muggings in the major cities were fairly common, as were murders. Often strollers were attacked in the dead of night, killed, robbed, and then rolled into the nearest river or canal. Even if a thief merely stole rather than killed, the penalties if caught were often unduly harsh. Torture was common. Thieves were put in stocks and sometimes even publicly executed. In order to avoid punishment, thieves often created bonds of trust amongst each other. Thus the phrase... Uh, honor among thieves. The outfits suck for the thieves or for the courtesans. Um, created bonds of trust amongst each other, often, which probably is the source of the whole honor among thieves thing. Uh, each was supposed to tell the rest his dirty secrets, which meant that each thief potentially held his comrades' lives in his hands. Actually, that's a pretty solid thing. I mean... I mean, they, uh, those outfits, at the very least, they, uh, make the job easier. At the very least. Anyway. Okay, so enter a group to blend. Like what you see? They're showy but not attractive. Then, I mean, showy is what is all they're supposed to be, to be fair. Oh, let's read Paola's thing. She was born in 1438. Um, which means, if I remember correctly, this was 1463. Which means she's... Less than 30? She's older than Ezio, for sure. I don't remember. Anyway. I mean... They def let, let me let's just say that they definitely prey upon the, they would definitely work for their uh, target audience their target market. I mean, again, target market all they really need to see is leg or boobs and they're sold. To be fair, And those dresses show both. And more. Anyway. Uh, Paola. Oh, she was in prison. Wait, hold up. Not inf much information about her in the history books, which usually means that she's a character unique to the game. And in this case, that's a yes. Um... Right, but like... Not nearly as much as the courtesan's dresses do, though. Like... If this was a later Assassin's Creed game, I'm pretty sure nipples would be everywhere. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, Rose. That's absolutely fair. Um... And sounds like a good life goal, to be fair. Um, yeah, uh, when Florentine archives reveal that she was orphaned at age eight, when her parents were killed at sea, left with the choice between joining a nunnery and prostitution, she began a life on the streets. Again, I mean, hyper-religion or freedom to do whatever the fuck you want. Um... At 16, she vanishes from the records, only to reappear at age 20 when she was arrested for murdering a city guard. On an interesting note, Giovanni Auditore uh, represented her in court, winning the case on a self-defense plea. Released from prison, Paola went on her on to start her own brothel to protect many other unfortunate women on the of the street. Okay. Oh, absolutely. There absolutely was benefit to being in a convent. But there was also benefit to 
you know, other things as well. Bided your time in the convent and then ran away? Possibly. Depend I think it... I mean, for me, it definitely would have depended a lot on... Um, my family's standing at the time. You know? And how generally suckish life was. Sup guys, don't worry about me, I'm just creepily standing here and ignoring your conversation while trying to not get arrested by cops, don't mind me. I'm just going to, uh... I also have the luck of being born ma a male, so... You know... I don't have to worry about 90% of the shit you guys have to worry about. Paula, go in. Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. I've already been doing it, but sure. Oh, not that way. Oh, am I supposed to pickpocket her? Nope, won't let me. Okay. Thief! Thief! Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. Help! Somebody <laughs> That was not the button I meant to push. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. I didn't mean to punch you. I'm sorry. Where's my money pouch? You must leave once you pick their pocket. Okay. Three, four, four. Come on. There we go. Down with the patriarchy, up with the insanity. I mean, depends on the insanity, but yes. You can go now, girls. Oh, do we have to? So innocent. I do like the the design on a few of the fronts. Now that you have learned how to approach the enemy. <laughs> do we have to? He's cute. He's also sixteen, which I think back then wasn't a big deal, but still. But you already have the answer. Hey. Father's blade and bracer. How did you get them? <laughs> By using the same skills I just taught you. It's not exactly in working condition. I assume you are. I mean, but still. Leonardo da Vinci. See, si. what how does a painter factor into this? He's far more than me. Bring him the pieces. <clears throat> You'll see. Going back to Leonardo. Before I go, one last question, if I may. <coughs> of course. Why have you given your age so readily to me? Stranger. I too know betrayal. And as we've already read, she owes Giovanni. Accept Leonardo da Vinci at his work... Uh, visit, not accept. Visit Leonardo da Vinci at his workshop and see if he can repair Giovanni's blade. Okay. There we go. Okay. Should I hire a group of prostitutes, guys? Obviously, I can't hire them, but... Um, oh, I need to go this way. There they are. Don't mind me, coming through. Should I? Oh, 
What would they do? Steal things? No, the thieves. Uh, if I hire a group of thieves, they and they fall. They will follow. Hiring a group, they will follow you around and do things. Courtesans will distract guards, um, and be a group that you can essentially be personal moving cover that you can blend with. Uh, groups hiring groups of thieves, they will uh, passively steal anything that anybody from anybody they run past, like what Ezio does. Uh, when you uh, when you walk through a crowd while holding the right button, and there's also mercenaries that will follow you around and uh, be aggressive as fuck any time that you, you know, if you're gonna get into a big fight, you want to have a group of mercenaries around. But they'll introduce those later. Um, in fact, I am gonna hire them. I got the money. See, roving cover, and if I targeted him, yeah. They will passively distract guards um, as I go. So, like, if I pass by another guard, they would grab. Uh, he would, you know, grab them and go off with them. So there's groups of guards up here. Um, I'm essentially just showing it off now. If I target a guard or a group of guards and tell them to, they will actually go over up to them and create a distraction. I mean, that would be distracting as fuck, to be fair. What the hell? That, that guard. Have some shame, dude. That is... Ab I... Okay. <laughs> Dude has no shame spanking his own ass and wiggling his... Anyway. One of the fastest, essentially, passive ways to earn money that's not really a passive way to earn money is hiring a group of thieves and then just running through a town. Because you will gain so much money that way. So much. Yeah, it is ridiculous as hell. I'm going down, don't worry. Up, I see. Oh, there we go. I'm not here. Don't worry about it. You can't see me. Or can you? Can you still see me? No. There you go. Go away. Go away. Turn around. There you go. Good enough. Yes, I know. If I go across that, I'll... Dis I'll desync, it's fine. I'm not worried. And ow. I forget, did I have did I get everything from you that I can get? Yes. Oh, yes I did. Ciao. Okay. Leonardo It would be too niche and expensive to do to be worth it. And I don't I'm not just saying that because you told me to tell you that. What with all that's happened. Ah, where are my manners? Welcome back. Not that you couldn't Necessarily How combine you? concepts. I was hoping you could repair something of mine. Of course. Come this way. Che pasticcio. Tutto santo giorno che cerco. Let me clear a space. All right. Let's see it. Fascinating. I don't know. I don't know, Ezio. Like, despite its age, the construction is rather advanced. Honestly, I'd never heard of VTubers until you brought it up the other day. I'm afraid. There's not much I can do without the original plans. Me dispiace. 
Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Points what at the paper. Doing? The contents of this page are encrypted, but if my theory is correct, based on these sketches, it may very well. It may very well what? Please sit. Leonardo, I. Shh, shh, shh. Dude, I'm kind of wanted. If we I am on a clock. And then select every third. Leonardo was yeah. truly a genius of finished. his time. Huh? What's finished? The blade. I managed to decode that parchment of yours. It showed me exactly what to do. Now all that's left is to remove your ring finger. Really? I'm sorry, but this is how it must be done. The blade is designed to ensure the commitment of whoever wields it. Bene. Do it quickly. <laughs> I was only having fun, Ezio. Though the blade once required a sacrifice, it's been modified. You can keep your finger. Incredible. Yes, it is. Tell me, do you have other pages like this? I'm sorry, only the one. Listen, if you ever do happen across another one of these, please, bring it to me. You have my word. And thank you for fixing this. It By order of the Florentine Guard! Open this door! Uh, just a moment. Wait here. Are you Leonardo da Vinci? Si. How may I be of service? I need you to answer some questions. Certainly. <laughs> and thank you for not actually cutting off my finger. I know, right? Witness claims to have seen you consorting with an enemy of the city. What? Me? Consorting? Uh, preposterous. When was the last time you saw or spoke with Ezio Auditore? Who? Non fare il finto tonto! We know you were close with the family. Perhaps this will help to clear your head. Uh, ready to talk? What about now? Leo! Leave my friend alone, bitch. Grazie, Ezio. Sorry about that. Uh, I've grown accustomed to their abuses. What the Nobody should ever grow accustomed to any form of abuse. Others. The city goes <laughs> for research. Pick up the body. There we go. <laughs> With the others, I know. And historically, from what I remember, the bo the cities didn't give him the bodies so much as he stole them to study them. Because um, a lot of the early anatomy stuff was performed, was discovered by um, Leonardo. Thank you, Leonardo. Um, Anytime. And remember, if you find more of those strange pages, bring them to me. Should they contain new designs, I will upgrade your blade as well. Of course. Now, I really should be getting back to Paola. Porgile i miei omaggi. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly, for science. Like, he legitimately was curious. He was... It was originally for painting, like, he originally went in and was studying, like, how limbs worked and the joints and what, and in order to get his painting to the most authentic and realistic as possible. However, um, due to the Catholic Church and various other things, like, he was often, shall we say, discouraged from uh, performing uh, those essentially autopsies and experiments um and so he would procure the bodies in other ways sometimes he would buy them from the families other times he would straight up steal them from graveyards and uh tombs and stuff yeah at least it's what i'd heard from what i had been taught in history i mean it's it's always possible that it's not necessarily true or is only half the story and stuff like that but yeah leonardo was a creepy fucker but he was also awesome come on
Come on. Come on. Come on. Loot. Okay, so now I was going this way. Actually, hold on. Give me the body. Give me the body. Does it let me throw the bodies yet? No? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, good enough. I was aiming for the f for the hay. Oh, well. <laughs> it wasn't me. I was nowhere that near there. <laughs> um... Yes-ish. Um... It's... It's just... Uh, the reason you didn't uh, attack with it in the original um, Assassin's Creed, they, they kind of they kind of explain it, except they don't um, they don't straight up say it, but they do kind of explain why um, is because the original design was very fragile. Um, it could very easily be broken and fall apart, and if it was used too aggressively. Um, and that's what broke this blade originally. Why we achieved, why we received it broken. Um, that he does, but I trust he did more than talk. Um, I've I pushed. You the skills. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. Rip. Um, I missed the prompt. I'm sad. Anyway, so what I was saying was they kind of explain it. Um, with this one, it's essentially. At some point previously to this game, shown in the uh, in the uh, short film Assassin's Creed Lineage, which I had, uh, I missed the prompt because I wasn't paying attention because I was talking. Go figure. Um, I've I mentioned earlier. I don't think you were here for it, science, but I mentioned earlier possibly doing a essentially a short movie night where we watch Assass the uh, where we watch Assassin's Creed Lineage. It won't be through Twitch. It would be through, like, Discord or Google Meets or something like that. Um, and uh, because it's a prequel... That move, that short mo film is a prequel to this. And since I'm going through the entirety of Assassin's Creed for the whole reaching overall story arc and everything, watching that would, you know, add to it for those who may not have seen it. Um, it's not a necessary thing to play the games, but it's a fun thing. Um... Anyway, in that, you see why the hidden blade is broken when Ezio receives it um, from, his, from his father's office, essentially. Um, and he, essentially, it was broken in combat because he used it to defend himself and it broke because of how fragile the design was. What they're not saying in this is that Leonardo modified it from that point on to be a bit more sturdy so that it can be used in it, uh, aggressively. Which is why Ezio is able to attack with it. Leonardo's given you the blade. All that remains is the deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa. I'm still so mad that I failed Watch that because that's the first time I've ever missed that prompt just because I wasn't paying attention. As if they were my own. Poor 13 or 14 year old Claudia having to essentially live her teenage years in a brothel after having basically been a princess. Uberto Alberti, trusted friend of the Auditore family. According to the history books, this guy was a saint. He prosecuted murderers, rapists, the worst criminals. One of the best lawyers in Italy, he won every case, in spite of the fact that he was self taught. Now, I found a back door into the Templar's database server. I've been combing it for some kind of smoking gun. I found it. Apparently, Uberto's family was evicted by the Medici Bank. Uberto's been aching for revenge ever since. And the Templars promised him support. Ezio's father was standing in the way, and Uberto was jealous of his influence over the Florentine government. Two birds with one stone, isn't it? It looks like Uberto used his election to the Signoria as his opportunity to strike. Time to go kill a bitch. You've seen nothing before.
And the reason it's still a hidden blade uh, science is purely because uh, it's not obvious when you look at him that it's there. Like, you have to know that the gauntlet hides it in order for it to not be hidden, essentially. You know what? Where is the... Oh, it's probably over here. Uh, is it... Not that side. There. Oh, come on. General leader made for swinging at Merla. people, yes? Merla! Hold your quit. Fat this so. Remember that time we fell into the viper nest? I'm confused. Oh, right. Ha. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's again with this. You have overstepped your bounds. I don't remember. It wasn't vipers, but yeah. And it wasn't. It was an actual reference to an event that they did ha that happened. But yeah. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least now we see how far your reach extends, which is to say, nowhere at all. It has proved a valuable lesson for me and my allies. Yes. Your allies, the Pazzi. Is that what this is about? Be careful with your words, Lorenzo. You might attract the wrong sort of attention. Poor Lorenzo de' Medici. Drop, Ezio. Drop again. There you go. Drop. There you go. Oh, don't, 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 don't worry about me, guys. I'm not here. <laughs> He's got a sharp tailor. Yeah, I do. It's not the only thing about me. My suit isn't the only thing about me that's sharp. Come on, get into the crowd, Ezio. Ezio. Please. All right, so that's where he walked in. Another mask tonight. Go. That hood. Baby, hey, how about you and me? Looking for a good time? What a pleasant surprise! Ciao, bello. Those muscles. Hang on. On me. That works. Let me in, guys. Pardon me. 
coming through. To you as well. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Indeed, a nice distraction from that nasty business with the Auditore family. And to think I won't start up Giovanni is Don't blame yourself. How could you have known the evil I say we strike that traitor's name from the record books. Let history forget he ever even existed. Hmm. Yes. You! I think Ezio got him. You would have done the same. To save the ones you love. Yes, I would. And I have. The Auditor, you're not dead! I'm still here! Me! Ezio! Ezio Auditore! In Renaissance Italy, though, where it lived after four stabs, the stab wounds to the chest, in Renaissance Italy, maybe, maybe modern day medicine, maybe. In, in Renaissance Italy, eh. all right. So a letter from Giovanni Auditore, which is one of the let sealed letters that I delivered, I believe. A document that is uh, is meant to serve as a record of all I've learned over the past few weeks. In the event that I am silenced and prevented from sharing it with you myself, understand first that the Duke of Milan's murder was no mere political maneuver. Rather, it is but a it is but a piece of a conspiracy that reaches far beyond Firenze, counting members in Roma, Venezia, and Forli, to name of but a few cities. Uh, the Duke of Milan's murder was mentioned a little bit uh, last week. It was, but the um, the the short film that I keep talking about, the Assassin's Creed lineage. Excuse me. The events that it covers are the Duke of Milan's murder and the events are surrounding that. Um, so it goes a little bit more into that and directly leads into what led to the uh, arrest of Ezio's family. Um, attached to this note is a list, or rather the start of one, of those I know to be guilty. Its contents are by no means complete. But I intend to rectify that shortly. I can, however, say with certainty that the Pazzi family is involved. We must move quickly to question Francesco before he buys his freedom from prison. Doing so will surely add more names to the list. I already have my suspicions as to who these men are, given their deeds bear all the harm hallmarks of an old enemy. I fear they... The note abruptly ends here. Giovanni must have had to stop and hide it when the guards showed up to arrest him. Okay, let me just pause that there for a second, because I said pause it there for a second. Okay, fine. Fine, let's not pause it there for a second. God damn it. This is gonna hurt. Oh, no, it didn't hurt. Okay. Yes, just right. <laughs> okay. Now, that is where we'll pause it for a second. Because <laughs> I need to step away for a bit. I will be back. Don't worry about it. BRB.
And I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to make I had to take a quick run out to the other room. Um. Anyway, where were we? Okay, so it wants us to go back there. Let's see. Are there any other missions that we can do? Um. Well, now that I can kill things, I can hold on. Have to readjust a thing. There we go. Don't crash. Okay. <clears throat> Helps, it really helps if I can actually see, you know, like, my audio and stuff. Come, come, don't... Hey, man. Okay, I don't need to be healed, but I would like to buy more of this. That's better for now. Okay. But prevention is um, best. oh yeah, so I was looking at map. Um, I can go get this codex entry here. Um, I also want to get those viewpoints. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on the way to that codex entry, I'll get some of the che treasure chests for money purposes. Let me shank you from the back. That that works too. So how goes everybody? I think I think instead of stopping at 4:30, um, because of that break just now and the fact that technically I did start a little bit late, um, and how much how much time I've spent doing essentially nothing but talking, um, I am going to go. I am going to. I think I'm going to go into like maybe 4.45, maybe 5. I don't know. But I am going to be going a bit long today. Because I feel like it. Oh, shit. Hi, guys. Let's go, guys. I wasn't that late. Okay. I mean, I was late, but I wasn't that late. Watch out. Pardon me. I'm just gonna, you know, walk this way and then climb this building here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Your wallet's gone? Well, it was definitely not taken by the guy who bumped into you and is now trying to climb a building. Absolutely not. Wouldn't possibly be. Okay, um, let me try to get these guys a little. Oh, 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 Ezio. Okay, well, that's not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. Alright, so I need to get on the other side of this wall of buildings, and I would rather not do it while climbing. Okay, well, here's the bridge that I fought uh, the Potsy on. Um, or at least the son of the Potsy. Vin Vincenzo? I don't remember. Oh, you guys want to know another big difference between this game and, the, uh, and Assassin's Creed 1? You can swim! You don't just automat- <laughs> Other than this one is in Italy, yes. Other than the obvious. Um. Come on, pick up the- there you go. 
Unlike in Assassin's Creed 1, where if you went in the water, you immediately died and desynced. Uh, I got a, uh, I'll save those, because that's on the other side of the, of the district. Yep, yep, yep. Um... Oh, well, I have 3,000. I can actually buy one of those pouches from the from the tailor. Um, if I can find a tailor. Oh, hi, guys. I'm not... Nope. Yeah, just don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, man. Come on, pardon me. Coming through, excuse me. Don't mind me. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Coming through. Okay. Well now. I hear it. Come on. There you go, Ezio. Over and then down. There you go. All right. And viewpoint is nearby, actually. E Ezio. 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 Get off the. There you go. Okay. Um. Ah, there's the viewpoint. That's what I was looking for. And back up. <clears throat> Don't forget to hydrate, y'all. Hydration is important. All right. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, well, okay, there's a tailor there, and it's on the way. Well, there's also a tailor there. It's on the way to the mission, so let me just go to the mission. <clears throat> Don't mind me coming through. All right. No, I'm not going to dye my clothing. I already have that. Uh, 6,000. Okay, so I'll take that. Alright, now I just need to get 6,000 in order to get the large one. Now let's come over here. That should feel better. Alrighty, now to the mission, which is this way. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Maybe, leave me alone. I told you to leave me alone. I came back to the scene of the murder! Well, actually, there's a viewpoint here. Let me get the viewpoint here. It's true. Murderer, the criminal always does return to the scene of the crime. Although, this was completely accidental. <clears throat> you go. Keep going, Ezio. Don't stop. All right. Don't stop believing. Oop, that's not what I meant to do.
Well, Yes, got in pace. Oh, hey man. Sorry, I'm losing. There he is. Get him. Get away from. I hope you had a nice fall, man. See you in the winter. Well. I think it's best I leave Firenze. Where will you go? My uncle Mario owns a villa near Monteregioni. You're still a wanted man, Ezio. What would you have me do then? I've seen posters all across the district. Tearing them down will help the city forget your face. No doubt the Herald's also inside the public. Bribe them, and they'll speak of other things. Or you could hunt those who bear false witness against you. They traded dignity for coin. Their loss would not be mourned. Do any of these things, and you should be free to leave. So this is what I was talking about earlier with the notoriety system. I've got a program for tracking notoriety. <clears throat> this little meter will help you know how far you are between notorious and incognito. This will help you know if you should watch your actions. It'll also tell you if the notoriety level is part of Ezio's memory or not. So like one of the one of the things is pulling down these wanted posters. Each one of those is worth a quarter of the notoriety bar. Pardon me, coming through. This is one of those false witness guys that she mentioned. Killing one of them is like a hundred percent of the notoriety thing. Uh, the uh, come on, the bribing the heralds or whatever the fuck they're called are, um, if I remember correctly, they are uh, half the bar. Hey, Howie! You made it! Barely. Yeah, I am going to be a bit... I am going a bit late tonight, though. Cool, cool. Working on your ratios, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going a bit late tonight. I am, um, uh, just a bit, um, maybe 4.45. Um, I haven't decided for sure. Oh, that's the wrong door. Just trying to go into the brothel through the back door. That's always a good thing to try to do. Probably not the only... Never mind. I'm not even going to make that joke. That's not worth it. Bentornato, Ezio. Were you successful? Yes. Madre? We're still only in uh, Florence. They wouldn't let us leave. And Mother, oh, 
She hasn't spoken a single word since we left the house. Father will need to sort things out. Where is father? And Federico? Oh no, they don't know. Hmm? Something's happened. What do you mean? No, it's impossible. Claudia. No, 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 no. I did everything I could, Piccina. <laughs> Listen, right now what matters is getting us all someplace safe. But to do that, I need you to stay focused. Do you understand? Good. Will you watch over mother for me? Then we are ready. Thank you again for everything. Stay safe, Edzu. Stay vigilant. I suspect the road ahead is yet long. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, I had a um. Stay close. I had a, a similar type of a not not like actual compliments from people, but like just from how much I would play Assassin's Creed. Uh, one through Revelations and then uh, three and all of that. Like I started randomly using um, various picked up words, especially Italian ones from the Ezio games. Um, Are you going to make a nuisance of yourself? Hey guys. Ah, uh, bards. Come on, give me the. He weep. What gold? Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's go this way. Um. But yeah. So I I had similar with that as well. Uh. Though again, unlike unlike your thing, I didn't get complimented by anybody on it. <clears throat> <laughs> when you accidentally go way too far in the wrong direction and end up further than you should be going. Lol. Is there a viewpoint around here? Uh, I feel like there should be. Oh, there's one there. Maybe I'll grab that one when I reach the next waypoint. Um, oh, Howie, you weren't here because you were probably at work. Um... You guys stay here. Um, you weren't here, uh, but the uh, I mentioned it earlier, and Yvonne may have said something to you about it already. But um, I have Assassin's Creed Lineage, the uh, short film that is the prequel to this game, that talks that shows the uh, various events that lead to uh, Giovanni and. Federico and Petruccio's arrests. Um, the the they mentioned the stuff, the events in the game that talk about the Duke of Milan's murder and things like that, and that whole investigation. Uh, the short film, it's a live action thing. It was made by Ubisoft. It's an uh, officially canon thing. Um, and uh, uh, they're right there. Okay. Um, what I'm thinking about doing and wanting to do. Well, okay, I'm not thinking about doing it. I'm wanting to do it. Um, is I'm wanting to do a... Uh, essentially like a movie night type of a thing. Where we... Um, now that's more like it. Where whoever wants joins me while I while we, re while we watch through that. I won't be able to do it through Twitch because, you know, terms and conditions and stuff. But I was thinking about doing it through like either Discord or Google Meet. Probably Google Meet just because... Um, Let them have it. Just because those are the ones that, uh, that, that one, I have at least one friend who I know is, will be able to, um, come on, get off the, there we go. Okay, there you guys go. Um... 
But yeah, so if you and uh, Yvonne and others are interested in that, um, then we can work out when to do that as a, uh, essentially like a friend movie night. Like we did the other day with Matt and, um, uh, not the other day, but a while ago, with Matt and Hamilton. I love that I'm still being followed by the courtesans. <laughs> Don't know. I'm just gonna walk. Um, if Avon is still here, um, the courtesans will also join in combat. However, because they each have little daggers. However, uh, Monte Regioni this way. However, they're not nearly as powerful as like thieves or mercenaries because armor. Really? You'd rather not watch a 35-minute-long short film I don't know. that expands were they, the lore canonically? Were they given a proper burial? Yes. Honestly, they probably were not. They were. Given a proper, bur proper burial. Arrivederci. I, again, it is only it is a short film. It's not a full feature length thing. It's only thirty five minutes long. They were originally uploaded to YouTube as a precursor to Brotherhood, I think. I don't remember if it was Brotherhood or this game that they were a precursor to, but they're officially they were made by Ubisoft. They're live action uh, with the actual voice actors that they cast for a lot of the characters, except for like Ezio and the brothers. Um, it's got like it's got the actual voice actor and the person that they uh, based the design off uh, of Uberto on and that sort of thing. We should be close. Grazie, Dio. I mean, I kind I get that kind of, but like in this specific instance, it is actual like canon for the storyline. Um, it's not like someone took a someone took a thing and said, "Hey, I'm going to write a book about this," or anything like that. It's they literally actually did that as a promotional thing for the games, and to expand the storyline and stuff. It is, however, it is not required. Well, I mean, okay, this isn't required either. Um, but like, <sighs> ah, this asshole. Um, leave a Firenze without saying a proper goodbye. Ezio. What do you the, want, uh, It is also canon, yes, and it is good. I love the movie. A larger and I would get to that. Like, I would be... There are three Assassin's Creed movies. There's Lineage, which is a short film, 35 minutes long. Embers, which is the end of Ezio and the introduction of Shao Jun. And... I would like to actually. There we go, Ezio. I grow tired of this. But yeah, so we would watch them. I would be putting them in, or uh, like essentially in the. What sorcery is this? Okay. I mean, again. As you wish. Uh, that's fair, but I personally I don't get it. Like I understand, but I don't get it just because I I'm like I must have all of the material of this particular of anything I'm interested in. Oh, I have a sword now. Okay, that explains a few things. Come on, guard. Guard. I swear to God, guard. There you go. Wait, why is Maria taking damage? Oh, because they're fighting. Stop it! You have my thanks. Keep the sword, Ezio. Do I know you from somewhere? Don't you recognize me? It's-a me, Mario! <laughs> Uncle Mario? 
<laughs> it's -a me, El Mario. Um, I mean, I get that. However, like, I understand being disappointed in things like that, and like, in a lot of instances, I would probably agree with you in that kind of a thing. But like, I know <laughs> Assassin's Creed is one of those weird things in that the from all of my experience the most disappointing aspect of the series is usually what they end up doing with the games rather than the extraneous stuff like the movies and the books and stuff just based off of the fact that they always seem to go only half as far as they should in regards to plot lines and then they back off you know but yeah, I like like I said, I I like in, like I un, I actually I think I said earlier that I understand but I don't get it. I think the other way around is I think I get it but I don't understand it is probably the more accurate way of saying it. Like because it's like one of those things where it's like it's just so such a foreign concept for me. As that it's hard for me to comprehend that that so, is a kind of thing tell me everything. that is fact, essentially. Like, like how it, like, like how it boggles my mind that people aren't liberals, you know, like how like that anybody can be a conservative, like morally allow themselves to be a conservative or libertarian or whatever, you know, it it boggles the fuck out of my mind. Um. Anyway, Mario Auditore, uh, he's a condottiero, which I believe, if I remember correctly, is Italian for mercenary. Um, patrolling the Tuscan countryside, Mario Auditore played a significant role in the Battle of... Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Alerting person to the appearance of several dust clouds over the road which signaled a surprise advance by Milanese troops thanks to Mario the Milanese attack was foiled and the Florentines excuse me won the battle although Mario sided with Florence in battle um, mo uh, for most of his career he defended the interests of his hometown Monteregioni derailing the Florentine attempts to seize Tuscan territory while Mario's younger brother Giovanni moved to Florence in 1454 to pursue a career in banking, Mario stayed at the family's villa in Monteregioni, stating in a letter to Giovanni that he preferred fighting like a man to filling out balance sheets. Which, I mean, fair. They executed father for treason. Hashtag suddenly political. Too. Yeah, it's not like it's currently saturated in every aspect of our lives. Why. I have no answers, uncle. Only a list of names taken from a man who wished me dead. And to be fair, down. you don't need your we will make your sense. preferences in regards yeah, to things like that don't need, need to be universally on, true. We're almost there. You know, Think it's we'll you're allowed to, to make exceptions to your own things. Day. You know. For now, next year it will be its friend. So like, there are plenty of things that I love on. and am passionate about so and everything. Time. But I do not go out of my way to con to uh, consume every bit of material I can get my hands on for them. So you're allowed to make your own exceptions for your own, you know, your own brain things. was built by my great grandfather, a strange man who carried all kinds of secrets. Keep your eyes open, and you might discover a few of them yourself. With all the fighting that's been going on, this place has started to get a bit rough around the edges. Villa Auditore. I, I see. <clears throat> One of those strange glyphs Sean mentioned is on this landmark. You should go find it. Wish I could do something about it. This but place is really time or money to fix things up. Well, in pieces. Yep, Here there's the mark right there. Casa Dolce Casa. So, home sweet home. What do you think? It's most impressive, Uncle. She's it's seen also days, I suppose. Yeah, Believe seen better days. Me, I'd have her shining again if only I had the time. 
Now that you have had the tour, Nipote, you should go and outfit yourself. My men in the market are expecting you. Return here when you're finished, and we'll begin. Begin? Begin what? I thought you'd come here to train. No, uncle. I came here to escape Firenze. And I intend to take my family further still. But what about your father? He'd want you to finish his work. What work? My father was a banker. Wait. He did not tell you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ma che me convini, Giovanni? Where to even begin? Go and fetch the gear in the market. It will give me time to think. But... But that's that. We'll talk more later. Some <coughs> spending money should you need it. And if you find yourself in need of rest, I've prepared a room for you on the top floor of the villa. Visit the blacksmith. I'll get there. First, there's a couple of things that I want to grab. Now, well, probably faster to just come up here. And then come over here. And then drop down. And... The past. A vast web of connections and interconnections. Is it all ruled by chance? Or is it? Sixty-four squares. Unlock the file. Oh, I hate these ones. Okay. Alright. Alright, so it's... That... Okay. The early ones are easy. Relatively. Piece of Eden number two. An apple. Basically, these puzzles, um, for those who don't know, these puzzles go through and point out the pieces, the existences of the pieces of Eden throughout history. In addition to a bunch of other things, but yes. Oh, wrong way. Hello, Napoleon. Supposedly, the reason why his hand is inside of his shirt is not to hold up its pants. It is instead because he's hiding a piece of Eden. Supposedly. This way? Yeah, there we go. Uh, nope, this way. And then this way. And again this way. And once more that way. George Washington had a piece of Eden. And then, come on. Cut. This is probably where my uh, where the room was that they mentioned. Let's check the map out, shall we? Alright, there's a thing in there. Codex wall, okay, we'll get to that. Um, doctor down there, and... Okay. Well. Come on, Ezio. There you go. By a pair of greaves and a dagger. Okay, well, let me check my repair. Because I took a lot of... I took a decent bit of damage. Um, yeah. Come on. Ezio, I wasn't done. Ezio. E Ezio. Oh, that's right. I have to wait for them to complete their stupid animation. There we go. Okay. Armor. Leather greaves. Accepts. Small weapons. Dagger. Accepts. Your coin seems genuine. Dagger here. Uh, let's see what we've got. 
Oh, throwing knives as well available, but they're not. I don't have any. Can I buy them here? Will you let me buy them? Ammunition? Nope, out of stock. Okay. I only serve the elite. Well, I have the money for it. I just, you know. Care for all. That's better for now. But prevention is the best cure, I hope. No. You, you kind of no, choked no, yourself there, shy. dude. A great metal work here. Hmm. Oh, I just had a thought. Hold on, let me check something. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. Um, okay. Inventory. Let's check my... In oh, that's right. It's all under the same menu. That's right. Inventory. Armor. Greaves and Spalders. And I pushed the wrong button again. Uh, inventory. Weapons. Hidden blade, dagger, common sword, and fists. And still missing that. Um, supplies. Medicine. Items. Codex pages. One of one. One encrypted, one decrypted. Uh, statuettes. Zero. Feathers. One. Outfits. I kind of want it, but I don't. All right. <clears throat> don't worry. We're only staying here for a little while. I don't like it here. I want to go home. I know. I love the nice little touch of how if he's idle long enough, he'll actually grab the cape and pull it around his arm rather than just leaving it like in the back like that I, I like that touch that's a nice touch it's a nice touch I like it all right coming over here hey look a little model of Monteregioni and there's a shiny box here can I interact with it it is empty okay then in here there's Giovanni and a wall of stuff, and then in here, upstairs, well, uh, nope, other way, this way first, okay. Empty room, something black right there, and then uh, next room over, a couple of black things there too. And then outside. And looks like stuff I can interact with over here. Let me go ahead, eh, let me go ahead and uh, get those if I can remember where they are. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on that. Because uh, I only have ten minutes left until I'm not going to go any, any later. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and talk to Geo uh, uh, Mario, I mean. Mario, it's a you, a Mario. Salute, uncle. I did as you asked. And quickly, too. Pan fatto. Now, let's teach you how to fight. No. As I said, we are leaving. Ezio, you barely held your own against Vieri. You won't survive. Vieri, that's his name. If you want to leave, so be it. But at least do so armed with the skills and knowledge necessary to defend yourself. I mean, that's a valid point. It's not for me. For your mother and sister. Fine. Optimum. You can swing a sword, to be sure. But offense alone will not carry a battle. You must survive long enough to strike. I will teach you how to dodge. You said my father was more than just a banker. Mercenaries. I bet you can pay those mercenaries to fight for you. Just go up and talk to them. Yep, they can also create. They can create distractions. All three different groups of hiring ability of hiring groups can be hired for um, distractions. Uh, they they just have different versions of it. 
Um, they'll also fight alongside you if you hire them and you get into combat. Thieves will follow you. They'll join in in combat as well, but they'll also passively gain uh, uh, loot money from people as you walk by. And uh, we've already seen what the uh, Kotasans do. Okay. Highly mobile Renaissance Italy move uh, in highly mobile in Renaissance in Italy moving from contract to contract professional captains called condottieri, which is captain of mercenaries. That's what it was. Usually paid for by cities, recruited men for a fixed amount of time. Many of the four higher soldiers who served in Italy weren't even Italian, coming from places like Germany, Switzerland, and Hungary. Perpetual st struggle, blah 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 blah. Okay. No use dancing around. Your father was an assassin, Ezio. I told you before, my father was a paper pusher. No, he was born and bred to kill. Now, Sure. That was technically a failure, but sure, I'll take it. I've taught you how to avoid your enemy's attacks. Now you'll learn how to turn them to your advantage. Counterattack, here we go. Assassins and Templars. It reeks of fantasy. Come on. Like something from an old parchment covered in arcane writing, perhaps? How did you know? Fair. You have your father's blade. I figured you have the codex page to do it as well. Vogliamo aprire le danze. You're making fine progress, Ezio. Today I'm going to teach you how to position yourself in battle. Where you stand and how you move can make all the difference. Don't think I haven't seen you picking apart my library. I trust you believe me now? Yes. My father was an assassin. But why the need for such secrecy? Are you familiar with the Templars? One of several knightly orders formed during the Crusades. History teaches they were disbanded nearly 200 years ago in France. Only they weren't. Merely pushed underground, where they continued their nefarious work. <laughs> The Knights of Templar were disbanded in France. However, you can't eat me. Come into Nipote. your own. Thank you, Uncle, for all you have given me. Your family. Such is my duty and my desire. I'm glad you had me stay. Good. You've reconsidered leaving. We sail for Spain in three days. But, Nipote, I have given you these skills that you might be better prepared to strike against our enemies. And if they find me, I will. You want to leave Ezio? To throw away everything your I'd forgotten they were gonna go to Spain. To deny your heritage? Fine. Interesting. Come voi. Arrivederci e buona fortuna. Uncle, wait. Why is he so upset? How can he not be? Vieri's been harassing us ever since you first arrived. To be expected, I suppose. Given his heritage. Uncle! Where is everyone? They ride for San Gimignano to slay that snake, Vieri. Vieri di Pazzi, the youngest member of the second most notorious Florentine banking family, this kid knew how to burn right through his father's money. Outside of spending sprees involving weaponry, exotic animals, and clothes, he was fiercely competitive. 
Vieri hosted races of all kinds, boating, horseback riding, running, all of them rigged, of course. And get this, if through some amazing stroke of luck he ever lost, he'd invite the winner's entire family over for a victory dinner and serve them a meal to die for. Well, I wish to join them. As if I wasn't already I convinced to murder Vieri. Before leaving, go check on Maria. Well, I know she's not in this room. She must be upstairs. Man. Italian villas, man. Okay, there's that room that was down there. Ooh. Ah, looks like places for paintings. Braces were unlocked. Okay. More places for paintings and hallways and... That is Maria. Maria? And Claudia. Ezio, look at her. I still can't get her to talk. She spends all day and night in front of those feathers Petruccio used to collect. She can't let them go. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. She'll come back to us. I know it. <laughs> um, I've used it that without it being a uh, double entendre. Um, um, I've I have used it like unironically that way, essentially, and um, it's just that that's how it's commonly used because it's one of the most threatening ways you can say it. Uh. And then here's this room again, and okay, let's go upstairs. This is to the room that they said that they prepared for Ezio. Climbing a ladder, because that makes sense to do, right? This is actually pretty nice. Oh! Money! Books and stuff. There is no bed here. This is supposed to be Ezio's room. There is no bed here. Um, uh, there's a voice. Yo. Hey. Hello. I have in because, like, I heard what you said. You pronounce it double entendre. Yeah, just like it's Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh, it's double entendre. Bite me. Oh, you know I don't speak you... well. Uh, apparently, that's one of the many things you don't do well. I also Bye. have. No, don't go yet. I'm actually about then... to call it, and it's actually fortuitous that you're here. Um, oh. Because now you can actually plug your stream in a second. Let me uh, step outside I don't the villa. Want my drowsy ass voice <laughs> plugging my stream. I mean, why wouldn't I? It is your stream after all. Yeah, just need somebody with more energy. Well, I mean, you gotta hire a face man. I mean, you have a boyfriend. That's what they're for, right? Eh. <laughs> Boyfriends I... tend to have, you know, free will. So. Well, that's always. just a flaw in the programming. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna call it there. It is five o'clock my time. Um, the uh... <laughs> he's clearly meant to sleep in some other girl's bed because Ezio doesn't have a bed in his room. I mean, to be fair, while there are a lot of other rooms that you see in the uh the, like you see a bunch of doors and stuff you don't see where they go and there's not a lot of room left for sp empty space you don't know where claudia sleeps either <laughs> you just see the one bedroom where Ma that maria is in you don't know where mario sleeps you don't know where Ezio sleeps you don't know where claudia sleeps and it's just a little bit weird because like the internal like, if you look at the actual dimensions of the house and stuff, it the rooms inside are way too big 
or the or building itself is way too small. But anyway, 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 anyway. Um, so we're going to call it there. Um, I did go a little bit later today, as I said I would dur earlier in the stream. Um, it's bigger on the inside. Damn right it is. Uh, the TARDIS is only a piece of Eden. Um, wow. Or pieces of Eden are, Gil are Gallifreyan tech. Either way. Anyway. Excuse me. Um, remember uh, that if you missed any part of this and you want to catch up on the rest of it, um, the rec a, rec a VOD of this will be going up on YouTube, hopefully no later than tomorrow morning. Um, and if you are currently watching it on YouTube, please like and subscribe if, you're, if you've enjoyed this. And please do it even if you don't. Um, I mean, yeah. I would appreciate it. But, you know, you don't have to. Don't make me go tsundere on you. Anyway, um, anyway, so tune in next week. Uh, actually, next week. No, yes, I will be available next week. Um, there was some tentative. Uh, not sure if I was going to be able to do it or not. Um, but yeah, so tune in next week, same time, same place. Um, I can't think of anything. Oh, oh, before I forget again, let me post that. Um. Uh, oops, 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 oops. Helps if I'm in the right spot. Come here. Come here. Twitch, where'd you go? There you go. Um, let me post this again. I think I did post it earlier, and I hope it won't actually, like, reset things. If it does, oops. Um, actually, Yvonne, when I posted the poll earlier, did I, I, I did post the poll earlier, right? Yes, you did. Did you uh, go and vote already or no? I did go and vote. Okay, let me let me let me check the let me just do the results real quick just just because I'm worried that it's going to um, reset that. So let me do that. Okay, so there's the current results. One vote for Tomb Raider. Okay, so yeah, I'll keep that in mind. When I go and do, oops, oh, wrong thing again. Here's the poll um, that the results were just posted for, essentially. Um, so follow that link. The link will also be posted on my, on my social medias. Um, so feel free to vote. I will also be including another poll that I'm not going to be sharing through this method, um, which will be uh, when, what days would work for, uh, essentially when would work. When would people like to see streams and stuff like that? Um, so yeah, this. So keep an eye on my. Uh, I'll be posting this in the Discord as well as my social medias and stuff like that. So please keep an eye out for that if you haven't already voted. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, well, I can't think of what else I was going to say. So I think now is a good time for you to, you know, plug your thing, Yvonne. Okay, so I am Yvonne. I stream every Sunday and Friday. Sundays at 1 Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time for now. And on Fridays at 3 Eastern Time. Friday, we are jumping right back into Tales of Symphonia featuring Howie. And on Sunday, we have a new island tour in Animal Crossing to go through. Get some inspiration. Have some envy. It's going to be awesome. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, do you know who the, uh, do you already know who that, the person whose island you're going to be touring on Sunday is? Yes, her name is Sunny. But I do cool. not have the name of the island, so I can't plug that. But well, we have our person. So check out uh, Sunny's Island on Sunday through Yvonne's Twitch channel as she, you know, gets jealous over everybody else's work um i do not get jealous i just get inspired <laughs> which is like better i was gonna say it's the same thing i was gonna say it's the same thing but it's really not um it's not. <laughs> uh so yeah um did you already say what times or just uh friday I and sundays times. okay uh, all right so so check uh her out actually let me go ahead and pop that on these are her URLs uh, right here. If it'll actually, there we go. Um, 
that has no. her URL on no. it. Darn it. Sorry. It's not it's not your stream. It's not linked it it's not linked to my account. No, um, wait, I, you don't have the shout out command? You don't I have don't the shout so. out command? Let me look. Yeah. Let me look. <laughs> Let me look. Let me look. I I mean I ha I actually have Nightbot open. Let me look at the commands. Default commands. Uh I don't see shout out, no. I do oh 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 I do actually have one though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um I did make cust I made I made custom commands for that for this type of thing. Uh it's uh just type just type your uh just type without the shout out, just do ev uh, exclamation mark Yvonne B. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm scared now. Aww. So her so her uh hers is in the chat there um it's also on screen here um and uh the links will be on youtube as well as in my link tree in various locations um the uh there's also um also make sure to check out uh hold on let me there it is uh make uh, make sure to check out uh my friend or our friend matt um, who he, I believe he messaged me saying that he streams Monday nights and Wednesday nights. At uh, eight second yes. Um, he's, he's been playing Frostpunk. He also been, has been playing Stardew Valley. I think tonight is Stardew Valley and I think Wednesday is Frostpunk. Uh, he finished up Subnautica for the most part. Um, and Frostpunk, I, I wasn't able to watch a lot of, la um, last week's Frostpunk stream, uh, mainly because I had a lot of crap happening and my internet was being the butt. Um, but from what I did see, it was it looks amazing. Frostpunk is great. And Stardew Valley is Stardew Valley. It's cute, fun, and creepy fun. Anyway. Um, creepy? <laughs> it's incredible. Like, if you take a lot of what happens in Stardew Valley and just think about it way too hard, it's incredibly creepy. I you don't know? see how it's creepy. This is not a this is not a conversation for this point in time. I Howie's yelling at me from the other room. <laughs> anyway, tell him to just put it in the Twitch chat. Um. Anyway, so uh, yeah, he he streams Mondays and Wednesdays at eight p.m. Um, and his link is in the thing is also on on the screen and will be down below on YouTube. Um. Also, um. There's a witch that turns your kids into birds. You can raise dinosaurs. Like I said, fucking creepy. Anyway, um, the, uh, <laughs> Yvonne types furiously through the microphone. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. You need to get a better microphone. No, you don't need to get a better microphone. Your microphone's actually pretty good. What you need is you need a mic stand. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, a mic stand. also my friend Eternity, he still doesn't have an actual, uh, our friend Eternity doesn't have an actual streaming schedule either, does he? Um, mm, not that I know of, no. But yeah, he, he streams essentially whenever, so keep an eye on his, uh, channel for that if you're interested. He's played all kinds of things. I've seen him play Star Wars The Old Republic, I've seen him play Final Fantasy VII Remake, and a bunch of other things um so check him out and then last but not least cosplay katie yeah cosplay katie if i can actually spell her name correctly this is the third time i've had to type her name and i've spelt it wrong each time that is supposed it's to be an literally a on your screen yes but it requires me to type it's supposed to be an A, not a Q, <laughs> fingers. I swear to God. Anyway, there is her link in the Twitch chat and also on the screen. And yeah, she's been, um, she plays Witcher. I, I, I still don't know her schedule. Um, I know she's, it's been a little fluid uh, lately because she's got, you know, a life and other things. Um, but check her out. She's been playing some of the Witcher. I think the, the third game, Witcher 3 is what she's been playing. Um, and she's also been playing some WoW, um, World of Warcraft, for those who are not up on what that means. Um, 
Or if you're all too lazy to, uh, you can pop in here and check to see if any of them are streaming. Because as, as long as they're not conflicting streams, uh, they will uh, uh, they will be showing up here as well. Um, not everyone knows WoW. There are, okay, no, if they're watching on Twitch, they probably know WoW. They definitely That's fair. know WoW if they're watching on Twitch. <laughs> That's fair. like if you were talking to like somebody's mother, who's like, just wow, what's wow? This and the other other world. than <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, check them all out. They're um, for those on Twitch, their links are in the in the chat. They're also on screen, and for on YouTube, the links will be in my in the description down below, as well as available on my link tree, which is available on all my social medias, as well as you know various other places um i should actually put okay. the url I'll for that my on lead screen now. as well yeah so you, you can resume furiously typing uh <laughs> in, in, without destroying everybody's ears um <laughs> anyhow i'll take my leave now uh sorry about it's not creepy uh it is incredibly creepy Andra, and please check out my stream on friday <laughs> and and it's pronounced rural. Anyway. Oh, she left before, probably left before I, before she heard me say that. Anyway, um, she's going to pop back in just to bitch at me about that. No, she's not. Anyway, um, so yeah, check them out when you can. Um, especially Yvonne and Matt and Eternity and Cosmic Lady because, you know, they're awesome. They're a thousand times more awesome than me. I promise. I promise they are. Um... Oh, 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 this last bit is is very important. And I, I know I say it. At, yes, I am a thousand times more awesome than you. Okay, bye. She can actually properly pronounce the word entendre. <laughs> Wait for that to come through her microphone. Is she going to pop back in? Nope, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Anyway. Last bit, very important. Um, it's very, very important. No popping back in. <laughs> anyway, last bit is very, very, very important. Yes, I have something important to say, and you keep interrupting me and distracting me, and it's it's okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, never forget that you matter. Whether you're watching this on Twitch, YouTube, or just happen to scroll across this somewhere, 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 somehow, you matter. You're important. You are loved. And you deserve to be loved, even if you don't feel like you deserve love. In these really fucking rough, dark times, you have to take care of yourself. Taking time off from things... Whether it's social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever it is, taking time off from them for your own mental health is a good thing, and it's okay to do. You can rest. You can sit on the sidelines, you know, no matter what is going on. You can sit on the sidelines if you need to. Your physical and mental health matters. And I have, um, if you need them, uh, let me type out the thing because I'm ridiculous. There we go. Um, I have, in my link tree, I have available crisis resources. I also have provided the links in the Twitch chat. Um, unfortunately, I can't carry that. I could just copy and paste them into Discord, uh, not to Discord, into um, YouTube's description. However, I've already got a really fucking long description on each of my videos, so it's in my link tree, which is in the description as well. Um, they're available in my link tree. Uh, links to resources for suicide prevention, substance abuse, domestic abuse, and sexual assault are all available. Um, so if you need them, please check them out. Also, um, unfortunately, if you're in another country than the United States, the, the, I don't they will not necessarily work, because I think most of them are United States specific. Um, but I will, I'm willing to bet that your country has their own available. And so if you Google... You, I'm sure you'll find them. You just have to look for them. If you need them, look for them. Um, so, yeah, they're there. They're available. They're, they, if you need them, use them. And if, if you can't use them or 
for some reason your country doesn't have them available or whatever else, reach out, talk to somebody, you know, it may sound cliche, but talking to people helps. It really does. Um, wear a mask, wash your hands, keep six feet away from others, at least six feet away from others because COVID-19 is still here. Um, and it's still getting worse. Um, it's not going to go away, at least not anytime soon. Not as long as people are idiots and the people in power perpetuate the plot of the storyline that it is not a big deal because it is a massive big deal. It's a freaking pandemic. Um, <sighs> November is coming up quickly. It is an election year for those in the United States. So make sure that you are registered to vote. If you are not registered to vote, if you're not sure, check your registration. You can do that online. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any links available, but I know you can check your registration online per, for your own state. Um, if you're above the age of 18, make sure you're registered, and please, please, please vote. Please vote. Um, you can check out people's the candidates' stances online if you know where to look. Um, again, unfortunately, I don't have links for that, but they exist. Um, and if you Google them, you'll be able to easily find them, no doubt. Um, and if you've been even watching the news even somewhat, you're probably very aware of everything going on. Um, and this election is incredibly important. You've probably heard it numerous times, but this election is important. It's one of the most important in a long time. We're, as far as I'm concerned, as far, and as far as a lot of others that I know are concerned, we're essentially fighting fascism. And if we don't get rid of it this election, then we're stuck with it for at least another four years, if not longer, because, you know, fascism! Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Check your voting status if you if you haven't voted um, if you are going if you aren't going to vote please do please do it's really easy it takes ten minutes if you wear a mask you'll be if you wear a mask depending on your location you may be fine uh, just you know be very careful when you go vote if you don't want to go into the voting places you can uh, if you don't want to go into the I'm being followed by somebody. Mr. Generic name. Oh, I saw you in um, uh, in Yvonne's Discord. Welcome, welcome, um, <laughs> welcome. Uh, thank you for the follow. Um, I was just actually signing out. I was kind of going on a bit of a tangent about voting. Um, but thank you. Um, if you've been here, uh. You've been lurking, lurking a bit. Good. Okay. Good. So you didn't you didn't come too late. And if you missed any of the stream and you want to check it out, it'll be available in VOD on here or on my YouTube uh, later. Um, links to my Discord are in the are in there as well as my link tree and social medias and stuff through that if you're interested. There. Are, um, also, brief recap. People on the URLs on screen are people I recommend that you go check out, and you're available. You're you're familiar with Avons. I don't know if you're familiar. You, you may have interacted with Matt in her Discord. Um, and then there's Eternity and uh, Cosplay Katie, who I recommend as well. Um, but yeah, so this coming election is very important. Uh, you can vote for, through mail, even though the mailing system is a bit weird, current is a bit tenuous currently. Um, but you can. You should definitely vote if you're able and if you're old enough to. Make sure, at the very least, make sure you're registered to vote, and uh, you can check your available your registration online, etc. Um, be safe. Uh, Black Lives Matter. They do. Just fact. They do. Uh, LGBTQ plus rights are human rights. Again, fact. Um, love yourself. Love everyone around you. And I will see you next week. Later, y'all.